Hello YouTube and welcome to the dojo. You're here with Samurai Man and today we have the Takar Tomy MP14 Alert or as he's known by the uh, cartoon Red Alert and I'm gonna go ahead and call him Red Alert because that's how I know him and as you can see he is a Lamborghini Countach LP500S uh, exactly the same as Sideswipe which is accurate to the show it's not like they just cheaply reuse the mold nope that's how it was so and they didn't actually use them cheaply, just cheaply use them, reuse the mold. They actually retooled it to look more like Red Alert. And I'll get into that as we go over the toy. So as you see, just by the packaging, here he is in his vehicle mode. Here he is in his robot mode. And here's the awesome Lamborghini uh, licensing symbol. And the reason I decided to do this review right now, well, I probably should have done it sooner, but I just got him like a week ago. But anyways, the reason I'm doing this review right now is because I think it was like yesterday, maybe today, that... Big Bad Toy Store has announced pre-orders for MP17 and 18. Prowl and Smokescreen. Oh my lord. Excitement. There's just excitement in the room. If I could show you my whole room, it is covered in excitement. It's just it's in the air. You hear it when birds chirp. It's beautiful. I'm just ready for this prowl and smoke screen. I freaking love that mold. I love the design. I love the characters. I really think that uh, smoke screen is going to shine in this mold. I'm really excited for smoke screen. And uh, prowl, definitely. I mean, I think a, a cop car is going to look awesome. Plus, prowl's character is just freaking awesome. If you read the comics, things are going crazy. As of today, uh, January 23rd, 2013, uh, the. Uh, I always forget. Either Robots in Skies or. Uh, more than meets the eye, one of them. Things are getting crazy with Prowl. I have no idea what's is going on with him. He's just being... <sighs> I have no idea. But I gotta say, loving that character. So freaking happy they're making a uh, fig for him. So anyways, uh, it says down here. Let's get back to Red Alert. It says down here that he is the uh, Cybertron security director, which is true. He is the security officer of the team, you know. Very paranoid. He freaks out, you know. He says he's got the best, the, the best audio receptors of the bunch. He can hear anything going on anywhere. He knows what's up. So, yeah, there's that. As you can see, nice little picture of him on the side. Let me see if I can... There you go. And here as well, awesome little awesome little picture of the car, of his vehicle mode. And here is the actual vehicle mode. As you can see, pretty nice scale. Not 100%. But anyways, check out the back of the box. As you can see, he's got here crazy electro such if you can really see it's kind of zoomed out shows all the items you get you get the figure itself the shoulder cannon the laser the little tech spec card and the instructions and basically it's exactly the same pictures as they did with the uh, red uh, i'm sorry with sideswipe compared them to optimus and whew, they look great together so anyways cybertron uh, security director there it is again if you can read it red alert what you get is this awesome red alert vehicle along with some goodies. Here's the tech spec card. I really love these tech spec cards that come with the Takara figure. I really wish they did the, did these with Hasbro, because here we got the Cybertron security director once again, MP14, alert, masterpiece, Autobot logo in the background, a grid design in the background, then just an awesome, pretty much if they did G1 today kind of design, like a more upscaled art rendition of the G1 cartoon. And here he is of the figure. And I wish I knew enough Japanese to read this just because I'm curious as to which one his intelligence is. Actually, I'm really curious to see what the three is. I don't want to say that's his intelligence because it's not like he's dumb. He's just... He's had a sh he's short fuse, basically. And his logic circuits got messed up and now he's super paranoid. But does that have anything to do with the intelligence? I, I wouldn't say so. And here's his uh, bio. Really wish I could read that once again as well. Here we have the instructions. I really like the instructions because they show little uh, panels from the cartoon just to show off what he's got. There. This is what I love. That freaking picture right there. It's pretty much a, a blown up version of the, uh, of, the of the tech specs. I really love that picture. That's just an awesome, you know, picture of the character. It just looks like if they took the G1 cartoon, redrew it today with today's illustrations and such. Looks really nice. Here we have all the views of him, and here we have the what he, his accessories. There it shows him with Inferno, 
his best friend, who is also a fire truck. So, you know, fire department uh, Lamborghini and a fire truck. Perfect combo. And he's got the rocket launcher just mounted on his shoulder. Don't know if he ever used it, but he's got it. Uh, there he has the particle beam rifle. Showing it off. I guess apparently he has used it there. And then the circuit trouble. When he, his, his circuits get fried and his head starts sparking and he's thinking every all the Autobots are against him and he sights with Starscream for that brief moment and his buddy Infer Inferno shows him the way to enlightenment. And there we have the perfectly lined up everything right here. I love it.